Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we are looking at Big Bang Adventures number 34 featuring Venus. Check out this gorgeous Kirby homage cover to save the gods. So this is what we are looking at today. Another banger from Big Bang Comics. Can't wait to share it with you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. This is super cool and epic. I love it. This is towards the end of uh, Big Bang's run at Image Comics. Um, this is a big Venus book. Venus is sort of the uh, Wonder Woman homage. Um, they go deep with the gods uh, angle in this issue, and it is so cool. Um, check out this gorgeous cover. Venus battling Cupid here. Um, so fun. It's so strange. Um, definitely Kirby vibes, right? I feel like this is definitely like fourth world action kind of happening here. Um, love the logo. Uh, Big Bang used several different logos uh, over the years, and that is definitely a cool one. Also love, like, the corner box art here. So that is very cool. Image Comics presents Big Bang Comics number 34. Front cover, pencils by Frank Squ Squillis. Inks and colors by Mark Lewis. Um, then we have our stories, Venus, an Odyssey to Save the Gods, plot by Chris Ecker, script by Gary Carlson with Ed DeGeorge, pencils by Joe Zierman and Chad Sergisketter, inks by Mike Matthew, and then we have a backup feature with Renegade and Ladybug, and alone came, along came the Ladybug, story, pencils, and letters by Sterling Clark, and inks by Jeff Austin. All right. So this is from 2000. Um, let's see. As you can see, the Kirby vibes are definitely heavy here. I have to edited, written, and drawn by Mighty Joe Kingler, um, inked with love by Mike Matthew. I think Joe Kingler is like the sort of Joe Simon, Jack Kirby, like faux pseudonym that they use when they're like sort of homaging Kirby. Um, kind of funny, very meta-ish kind of deep, you know, going deep. Anyway, so we open with Venus here. And let's see, she is, let's see, Olympus has moved to Jupiter, I think. I love, like, the cool, fun little, like, things that uh, Gary and Chris have worked into, like, the mythos of their characters. Um... Like, the gods left Olympus. Let's see. A legendary home of the gods. When Earth became overrun by upstart mankind, Lord Jupiter, king of the gods, moved his interdimensional realm to the giant fifth planet, which he had been named in his honor. Oh, that's kind of cool, right? Um, so, Zeus here is Jupiter. Um, you know, it's funny because, like, you look at the, the myth of the gods, whether it be DC, Marvel, or, you know outside of that, you know, um, I think, I mean, I've seen Thor in Image Comics, obviously you can't, you know, copyright the, the Norse god or the Greek gods, and I kind of like seeing all the different iterations. We're definitely getting some Kirby Crackle action in here that looks fantastic. The storytelling is so good. Um, I love the art in here. Um, I do kind of wish it was in color just because, uh, it is pretty detailed and I think it would help, uh, separate the details a little bit. What a great splash page here. I love it. I love seeing, um, this Cupid character is so much fun. It's so weird too. It sort of ties into the, um, you know, the typical roots of like myths of the gods and stuff. So Cupid is supposed to be Venus's son. However... In this version, um, he's the son of a clone of Venus that was used to trick Mars, or not Mars, yeah, I think Mars. Anyway, it goes deep, but it's good, and I love it. I feel like this Cupid might be a little bit of an, uh, a love letter, tip of the hat, sort of homage to Kirby himself. We've got the cigar, we've got sort of his, like, I guess, tough guy, New York accent, a little bit Ben Grimm, and we all know that thing was based on, you know, Jack Kirby, so I feel like that's kind of going on here. <clears throat> so Venus, uh, let's see, you know, it's always all about the gods, and um, 
the gods have lost their powers because everyone lost faith in them. So Venus is going to have, you know, Jupiter is dying. So Venus has this mission to go back and sort of renew human interest um, in worshiping the gods. And if not, you know, worshiping, at least make them aware of their presence again. You know, give them something. Throw the gods a bone. They need a lifeline here. A hundred percent. Um, I mean, isn't this great, though? It's weird. I was thinking because um, it seemed like an interesting choice. You know, Big Bang is full of homages, analogs, sort of referencing pastiches and just tips of the hat to certain things. And I like when they use, um, you know, artistic styles to sort of uh, support that. But I think the thing that I find interesting here is, you know, this definitely is feeling more like Kirby's Thor because we didn't ever get, like, a Kirby Wonder Woman, did we? I mean, um, I feel like the closest we got was in um, uh, the Superpowers miniseries. And I don't even think Jack really penciled that. I think he was more like covers or layouts or something like that. Um, I don't know. You know, it's like I love Big Barda so much. Like, um, I feel like that might have been his way of sort of doing Wonder Woman and... I don't know. I think it would have been really awesome to get like a great Jack Kirby Wonder Woman story. Does it exist? Is it out there? Guide me, people. I am like a late life sort of Jack Kirby fan. I have said it before and I'm not proud of it, but I'm one of those people. You know, my first love of comics was, was like John Byrne, George Perez, Art Adams, Paul Smith, Michael Golden, those kind of artists. So to me, Kirby looked like antiquated and sort of ugly and blocky and gross. And of course, as my artistic um, tastes um, matured and I uh, wisened up, I'm like a huge Kirby fan, which is kind of cool because now I can go deep and like discover his stuff. So basically what I'm saying, is there a good Kirby Wonder Woman story out there? Please feel free to guide me in the comments because if there is a great Kirby Wonder Woman story out there, I need it yesteryear. Um... This is, uh, like, the the gods sort of hall um, tribute to, like, uh, mortals. And then we have, we learn of, uh, what's his name, Jason Proudhawk, who is basically, like, the Steve Trevor that uh, Venus falls in love with. And, and um, I guess Mars had him killed. That's kind of ruthless. I kind of like that, though. Like, that's very, like, in line with, like, the gods and everything like that. Um... Let's see here. And then, okay, so Venus is being sent back to Earth. Cupid is going to go along with her in this mission of renewal and faith. And then we end with this gorgeous double page spread of Venus being thrust back into the middle of protests during the Vietnam War. I mean, how crazy is that? And to be continued, um, I would love to see where this story goes. I think it is so cool. It's weird because this is in 2000. Um, when the book comes out, but the story takes place during the time of the Vietnam War protests, and you know it's uncivil war, and it kind of echoes like what we have been going through in the past couple years. And gosh, it just I can't help but think like the more things change, the more things stay the same. Like obviously, we keep fighting the same same battles, people, and comics are here to illustrate that point. Right? So great. Like, what a great... I love Venus. She, she is so cool. I mean, she's amazing, right? How cool is that? And then we move to this... I love this ad. You can send away for the infamous Knights of Justice uh, live-action pilot um, featuring Thunder Girl, Night Watchman, um, Ultiman, and who is that woman? Like, what is she... I don't know. I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I need to see that, right? I think it's on YouTube, but... Also, believe it or not, um, I think that you can still get copies of the Knights of Justice, very limited supply, uh, through BigBangComics.com, www.BigBangComics.com. You can also get back issues on the cheap, maybe even this one, um, some actually really uh, hard to find scarce issues. Or you can also get your Big Bang fix on Indie Planet and get all your digital or print-on-demand Big Bang that way, so... 
Um, and the official Knights of Justice trading card set. How cool. Oh my gosh. So anyway, the renegade meets the ladybug. Um, I love the art here. And I, I have to say, I think um, a major tip they had. Created, written, drawn, and lettered by Sterling Clark. Embellished by Jeff Austin and edited by Gary Carlson. The inks by Jeff Austin are sublime. I love that his name is Austin because he is definitely like, um, of the ilk of Terry Austin. Like, I just, beautiful ink work. Amazing. Um, this is fun. I really love Ladybug. She is such a cool character. I love her outfit. I love her cape with the Ladybug stripes on it. I love this Ladybug logo. I also love how Big Bang, like, always took the care and attention. Like, some of these characters are, like, literally appearing, like, six pages, four pages, but they all have, like, their origins, their costumes, their design, their rich histories. And most of them have their own um, logo on top of it. So I really love that. Great panel there. That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Classic superhero comics like you would not believe. The gift that keeps giving. There are so many great Big Bang comics out there, and I'm going to keep on covering them. But like I said... You can still find them, and they are so worth seeking out. Like, if you're a fan of Marvel Comics and DC Comics, and if you're watching my channel, you probably love the same comics that I did. And, um, you know, I just... Uh, Big Bangs is such a great compliment to those types of comic books. So, I think you definitely... Um, if you're not familiar with Big Bang, you definitely need to get on that. Great splash... Or great pin up here at the end. Um, it's so interesting because the ink is credited to Gary. Oh, and I'm going to go with Gary Martin on the inks. It looks like Gary Martin. Um, and he's the only famous inker of that skill level I could think of. Like, I don't think Gary Carlson inked this. I, if, if you're hiding that amazing inking ability, Gary, we need to talk. But um, other than that, I think it's Gary Martin. I really love this panel here. So much fun. Like I said, the gift that keeps giving Big Bang is amazing. So much great, more Big Bang to come. I love this old newsprint. I don't know. It's just fun. It smells like an old comic. Isn't that weird to smell? I mean, everybody smells their comics, don't they? I'm not the only one. Vanguard, Ethereal Warriors by Gary Carlson and Frank Fosco. It looks like there's another mini. I love the original Vanguard miniseries, so... I'm sure I must have got this one, but I'm not 100%, but I'm definitely going to seek it out. Anyway, Venus, Big Bang Comics, number 34 from Image Comics. So good, you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will bring you more soon.